we sort of baby stepped into it because uh, we weren't sure entirely how it was going to work. Um, the setup was sort of just behind the scenes. There wasn't a whole lot involved on our end other than making sure that we had a good inventory to set up with them and then making sure they had access um, to the back end of our our uh um, website. Um, so a lot of it was just on them and then it landed in our hands pretty well put together. Um, and it's been honestly a, a really, really, really good experience and helped incredibly with the sales process. Mm -hmm. Um, it has saved a ton of time. There was a little bit of a learning curve to it. Um, which there is to anything, but it's been a really, really awesome experience so far. The learning curve was really just getting to know their system mm -hmm. um, and learning. A lot of it was Angel and I figuring out how we would make it work for our office and the size of our office um, and the amount of, of patients that we see in a day um, and the amount of just volume of orders that we do. Um, and sort of what we figured out was it would be when we get an order or somebody who has selected frames, we then go to their chart um, and in the alerts on their chart, we will put um, a note that says Optify. So mm -hmm. really for us, it was a lot of figuring out because in the beginning we would pull frames for them um, and sort of just have them ready for, for the day. And we realized that was a lot of pulling that was maybe a little premature yeah, um, we were just excited, I think. We were <laughs> like, very excited. We already know what they're going to be choosing, so let's just pull the frames they already picked and we'll have them. I mean, and in your mind, it sounds like a cool idea, like kind of like a boutique experience. Like the patient's going to walk to you and you're going to have these frames be like laid out beautifully for them to just like start trying on. Um, but with the amount of patients that we see throughout a day and especially because so many patients were using Optify that I guess we weren't really expecting that many patients to, to utilize it. We were kind of like, we bit off way more than we can chew trying to go that route. But um, so now, like Bethany was saying, we just have an alert in their chart. So any optician who um, works with that patient is able to look up the frames that they chose on Optify, grab them really quickly before they go grab the patient and then kind of have that have that same setup essentially typically along the way um from the technician to the doctor to them coming out to us pretty much everybody along the way is saying hey we see that you have selected some frames we'll make sure to let you know everybody know so that they can have those pulled for you so the doctors are aware and the and i think it starts that conversation before they even come to us so mm -hmm. you know like plants that seed right the minute they get here like they know at the end of the exam that they're going to be looking at glasses as opposed to like those patients who are like, mm -hmm. oh, I wasn't expecting to look at glasses today. Or, and then it's kind of like just like thrown onto them. So right. it's like already a plan of action for the whole exam. And previously, the system that we had on our website, it was just showing all of the brands that we carried as opposed to like, it wasn't specified to what we actually have in store. So it's like Luxottica and there's like a million different Luxottica products out there. We don't carry every single Luxottica product, you know? So it's like patients were looking at brands that we no longer carried or that we never carried and, and expecting to come in and look at those frames. And so now it's definitely just like, it's more accurate to what we actually have in our optical. And so patients are much more aware of like what is currently on the board and not kind of like coming in expecting one thing and getting another. I think on average, if we see a patient who comes out and looks at glasses because the volume of glasses that we have, which is almost 2000 pieces on any given day, um, they could spend 30 minutes to an hour looking at frames before they're even coming to make a decision. Whereas if we have them pulled, they're spending maybe five to 10 minutes looking through what they've pulled and saying, oh, yeah, this is the one that I want. Like before, they would have come in, looked at the same mm -hmm. style, chose the same style, and gone with that, as opposed to like, oh, wow, like I have all of these options that I can choose from and do something different. And they're like more open-minded to doing different frame styling. Helps kind of that we were in the middle of a pandemic, and we're trying to figure out how to frame style patients 
safely. And this was a way, this was a tool to do that. Um, so, I mean, I think that might have been a little bit of motivation because we we're in that awkward stage of like disinfecting frames. Like patients weren't sure if they could try frames on. And I think that kind of helps like the patient just sit down. They already, they didn't have to touch a, bu a bunch of different frames, try on a bunch of different frames and feel uncomfortable. They knew that we took the time to do like the hard part for them by selecting those frames that they actually selected themselves um, and just hand that to them. So I think that was a huge part of it was the fact that it was in the middle of the pandemic. Um, I think also just having Angel and I, having two people sort of basically everybody having their own role in this and knowing what that role is. It, honestly, I think a lot of the back end stuff is always going to be a little bit of a learning curve and a little bit of a challenge. Once you get it up and running though, it kind of runs itself. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's easy. There are still steps that we have to take every single day, uh, a couple times a day to make sure that everybody knows that there's Optify selections, but Honestly, Angel and I run it and it's, it doesn't feel like a real challenge no, at all. It's like checking an email or like, you know, it's just like maybe five, like not even a minute, right. out of the day, like five minutes out of the day that you're just like making a note and it's super, super simple.